Hello, Rob here from the Flanagan Homestead. I'm building a woodshed today and I'm excited to try out my new battery operated framing nailer. And uh, I, I went ahead and bit the bullet and paid the price for it because I need the ability to do this. And I think a lot of us that uh, live on farms or I have this campground here, I have farm property, I have barns I want to work on, different things, that uh, yes, I do have a pneumatic gun, uh, you know, run by air, but I I don't always have the ability on um, the different places on my farm or on my campground to run around with the air compressor or there's power to hook in the air compressor so then I need a generator. And that's the case down here today. Uh, I have no power down here and so I would have had to have been working hard to get a generator, get a compressor and everything. So I bought the nail gun and this is going to help me be able to do uh, build out here in the woods. Um, one of the nice things, one of the reasons I really like to have a nail gun when I'm working, especially in situations like this, is this isn't perfectly level ground and so like laying out walls or whatnot, they're not just laying there flat, you're going to have to hold the boards in place and everything. It's hard to do that and stick a nail in and pound it in. It's much easier to hold the board in place with one hand and pop a nail in. So I'm excited to give this a try today. I'll show you uh, how it goes and what I think. Okay, I've got my top plate and my bottom plate marked out, layout marked out on it. I've got my studs cut, and this is when I'm I'm going to give my nail gun on its first try. This is one of those times I feel like you really need a, a nail gun because I'm not building on a flat deck. Like when you're building a house, you build the first floor, and then you got a flat deck, and you could just lay two bys down. You could stand on it and pound it in and whatnot. But this is not perfectly flat. You can see that there's a gap underneath here, and so I'm going to need to be using one hand to hold the board together and while I'm going to be pressing in and nailing with the other hand. Nice. I'm going to adjust my countersink just a little bit. Let's go take a closer look. It sunk them nicely. I am, uh, I, there is an ability, you do have the ability to adjust the depth right here. I'm gonna adjust it to make it a little bit deeper here in a minute, but it went really well. So first impressions after just six shots, okay? It is a little bit heavy. I think working with this all day might become a little bit cumbersome, but for this, really well. Uh, it, I think it'll work great. Uh, it, I do have my earplugs in. You can see that, but it did seem like it was significantly quieter than a pneumatic gun. Uh, that's nice. And I noticed one thing right off when I loaded the nails in here. There's only room for one uh, row of nails, and most guns have two. And so I'm gonna, I have nails in the pouch here ready to go. Uh, which you would anyway, but uh, I think you're gonna be loading nails a lot more often. So those are my first impressions So one of the things I mentioned earlier is you can only put one clip of nails in here And I got down to where there's probably five or so left and I thought well I want to be able to do the entire wall without having to stop and add more nails So I tried to add a clip when there was still like five or six in there and there wasn't enough room It wouldn't let me so I had to run it to basically almost completely empty before I can add this new clip in and then get going. So yeah, that's the, one of the things I'm not liking, about the only thing so far, is the number of nails it'll hold. So the first wall framed up, things are going really good. Uh, one of the questions I have is how rapidly can I shoot these? There was a strap around here that says this is a single uh, shot, it's set at single shot, so I have to press up. I uh, get the pressure on the tip and then pull the trigger here, but they said that you can set it for bump uh, Look in the manual. I haven't even looked at that. I honestly don't know where that is yet But uh, one of the things I want to see is how fast can I shoot these and can it keep up? And so I have a piece I have to scab on the bottom here put a bunch of nails in so let's just see if we can Quickly fire them in there and the gun keeps going Sorry for the light situation. The Sun is right behind the branches and it's creating shadows Let's get this thing in the right spot first. 
All right, let's see what we can fire in. Had no problem keeping up there. Gotta get myself another round of nails in here. I did slow it about down a bit because I had to pull the trigger. I think right here is how you switch it over to just bump. Let's see if that works. Yep. There it is. A couple of those nails didn't sink quite as deep. I don't know if that's because I was pulling off the way I'm bumping or if it just wasn't creating much juice. Let's try it again. Oh yeah, those sunk all the way in. I'm back home, it's getting dark now. I forgot to do my summary of uh, how I liked my rigid battery operated framing nailer because I was too busy working. But uh, earlier in the day, uh, it, from about breakfast to lunch, I was able to get my project put together. Uh, this really helped a lot. Like I said, working out in the countryside, I didn't have access to uh, power and generators and all that. and air compressors so I needed a gun that I could use. I definitely wanted a gun because I didn't have a flat surface to work on so holding the board and nailing it this worked really well. I was impressed at how quickly I did not think I'd be able to fire another nail as quickly as I did. It kept coming and coming. Uh, the battery was not an issue. The battery worked almost all day long and so the battery it didn't use up too much battery. Uh, you can see as I was putting down the siding here uh, I used a lot of nails, so I used both 3-inch framing nails and my siding nails. The siding nails, which are shorter, I jammed a couple times, and I don't know if it's just the way the clips are designed. Uh, it wasn't bad, but there was a few times that I had to clean things out. But uh, the gun worked well, it worked quickly, and it got, helped me get the job done. Uh, again, the one big drawback, room for one clip of nails, not two. Other than that, Really happy I had it. I'm really ha I look really excited to looking forward to doing other projects around the property that uh, I wasn't able to get a framing gun to before. And now I'm gonna be able to just lift up boards, pound them in. The barn's gonna be improved. Thanks for joining me on the Flanagan Homestead where Christmas trees are my business, teaching, cleaning, horticulture is my job, and outdoor projects are my passion. Hope to see you again soon. Be blessed everyone.